Hi, thanks for your interest in possibly making one of my wet wizard felting decorative trees with me. You'll basically need some fabric glue, pins, a styrofoam base, a dowel to make the stem of your tree, and also some type of wood base. And you can certainly be creative with any type of uh, base if you wish. I've used some other old blocks or anything else you might have creative or antiki around the house. Uh, I've even gone Goodwill and have uh, used a unique base around the bottom to set my tree on. So the first step in making one of the decorative trees is to get some type of felt. Whether you're using one of the felts that are made from my tree, my, uh, excuse me, my felting wizard, or one of your own felts that you've made at home, it doesn't matter. I like to cut about a two inch strip, you know, off my felt sheet, and then from there, I'm really making diamonds out of the felt to utilize as like a shingle effect that I'll put on the styrofoam tree. So after I cut a multitude of diamond shaped felted pieces, and I like a lot of mixture of color and variation to make the tree look really, really unique, and therefore I get a higher price for those unique trees. I will use the fabric glue that I purchased at Hobby Lobby store along with my pins and along with my styrofoam tree base and I'll use the glue and I'll just dab a few spots in the top, bottom, and the two sides of where one of my chosen leaves of felt are going to be and then just hold it in place with a pin and let it dry for a few hours. So as you can see, I've gone along the bottom and then I go to the next stage and I work my way up slowly all the way to the top. It's that simple and it's a lot of fun and every tree comes out to be just a little unique. I sell these trees quite well over the holiday season. I call them a trans-seasonable item that you can have out before Christmas all the way through the holidays uh, and that's much more of a sellable item because of that unique property. Now once I get my tree finished, you notice I have some garland on it. You can be creative in getting uh, different types of garland that you can pick up at other craft places and see what might look good with your tree that you make. So here's a neat green that might look interesting. Here's a unique grapevine that you just might like that more witty look. You know, maybe throw some small little pine cones on it. So I just want to give some inspiration and show you how simple and easy that this uh, designed tree can be for anyone, whether you're using my felts or your own. Thank you and good luck.